Democratic gubernatorial candidates face off tonight at 7 o'clock on WBEZ Chicago. It is quarter to seven on Monday, March 2nd. Hi, how are you, Harry? Congressman Glenn Pichard is returning to downtown Chicago to public radio station WBEZ. I'm not sure where we're supposed to go. After a long day campaigning an hour and a half away in Rockford, Pleasure. he's taking part in a debate here tonight. It's 20 hours a day every day. You know, you go from one debate to another. What's going on, Glenn? Yeah. Hold it up, fella. Bouchard meets the other three candidates in a holding room near the studios. Well, take you number nine. The four draw lots to determine the order of the debate. What you got to tell me? I got first. From WBEZ Chicago and from Illinois Public Radio, this is a special town meeting featuring the four Democratic gubernatorial candidates. I believe government is more about principles. I have 20 years of proven leadership in the executive branch of Illinois government. I have the leadership and the independence to get that job done. To protect our environment, to fight for the control of the flow of guns. Because As the I debate begins, the three other candidates have some harsh words for Pichard. You supported an amendment that would have gutted the assault weapons ban. On gun control, and especially on campaign financing. We want an independent governor, not one who's going to be a wholly owned subsidiary Thank of you, Mike Mr. Madigan. Schmidt. Pichard fights back. I'm the only one in this race that's not talking about doing something, but I am doing something. After the debate, most of the media have questions for the congressman. in the primary. Especially on campaign financing. We've not deviated from it one second. And Pichard is upset about the attacks from his opponents. I'm not going to sit and, and take these shots. After all the questions, the congressman's day is not over yet. Pichard heads back to his campaign headquarters in Chicago's Loop. He is still upset about the debate. Glenn Pichard did this, Glenn Pichard did that, you know. But at the office, Pichard's advisors give him their take. Uh, I think you won the debate tonight. I think you did a phenomenal job. Then it's time to think about tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's WBBM, the Ad Issue Program. One o'clock, we're going to have an organizational meeting in Will County. Um, then you'll do the Senior Citizens Meeting. Give a candidate's forum, a radio appearance. They may take some calls. Anita Padilla from Channel 5 TV up here okay. is going to uh, meet with you to do a profile. Another full day awaits him in the morning. All right, then I'm going to go home. With two weeks to go before Election Day. This is the Pichard follow along. This is part two by Eden Schultz and Chris Novi. Stand by, Bob. Good day. I'm political editor Bob Crawford, and this is at issue. It is Tuesday morning, March 3rd, and Congressman Glenn Pichard starts his day with another debate. This one on WBBM radio. The last full week of campaigning before the March 17th primary election. I grew up in the Democrat Party, and for the past 14 years, I've been a leader in this party. But there is new trouble this morning. Congressman, they see you saying you don't take money from PACs, you set limits. Over campaign financing. But yet there's a story out that House Speaker Madigan is now putting the arm on legislators to contribute to your campaign. A front page story in the Chicago Tribune. I want some of uh, some of Brother Pichard's uh, pack money. Well, there, so Just the ammunition his opponents are looking for. I think that really does raise a question of the level of dependence that you're going to end up with. That's not shaking anybody down. That's a preposterous charge, John. That sounds very much uh, close to laundering, as we talked about the other night. Oh, Jim. And it's, that, Glenn, that let, let me finish now. Let you me. have to be prepared for a lot of really hardball politics. You have to be able to stand your ground in the face of a lot of adversity, a lot of criticism. Join us again next week for another edition of Edition. If you don't have a third airport. After the debate, so you're not talking about expanding. Pichard again faces the Chicago media. Yeah. I mean, there's going to be more of those things in the future. Then he's back at headquarters for a quick meeting, but not for long. We've got 11 precincts in Joliet. He's soon an hour south in Will County. We definitely would be getting out to them precincts. For a meeting with volunteers at a local campaign office. Local workers, we could probably turn out the 400-plus performing precincts. No one else has. 
Just a few minutes later, to a total of 50,000. Bashard heads to nearby Governor State University. What, what about the tactics that were taken? Though? Facing more cameras, that are choosing to help me, and another Three, debate. Two, one, Mike and Q up on two. We don't want to give away. Here, a third airport for South Suburban Chicago is the big issue. I do believe that the greater Chicago metropolitan area will need a third airport. Right. As the forum ends, two of these in one day. Pichard hurries to leave. Lasted over an hour, but they had a blue But the ride back before, offers no break. Time, so we're running late. He is keeping in touch with staff. Channel 5 to hang on when I get And there. trying to get a quick bite to eat. Grapefruit juice, power bars. Meanwhile, supporters are gathering at a downtown restaurant for a big fundraiser. The congressman arrives late after another TV interview and a meeting with staff. He ends his day with a speech for his supporters. That I will indeed be the first Democrat governor in 22 years of this state. God love you. Thank you for being here. I very